You know, I think I was probably about 15 years old the first time that I know for certain that I was filled with the Holy Spirit. There was such a, an incredible joy that just came into my life, and there was this overwhelming love for Jesus. I was filled with such a passion for Jesus and His Word that I couldn't get enough of Him. I wanted to tell everybody I knew about Jesus. And that amazing feeling of joy and love and passion lasted for about two weeks. And then all of a sudden, I was back to my old self. I was so disappointed that I'd gone back to how I was before. I remember several weeks went by, and one day I thought, I need to ask him to fill me with the Spirit again. And so I confessed every sin that I knew, and then I said, Lord, I give myself to you. And I said, now, Lord, just fill me with your Spirit. And then I waited for this surge of joy or this surge of boldness, or this surge of passion. And I waited for those feelings to come, but nothing happened. And so I concluded that I guess he didn't do it. I guess there's some unconfessed sin in my life. So I started dredging up every old sin I could think of that I might would have committed. I confessed them all again to God, and then I said, now just fill me with your spirit. And I waited for the feeling, but nothing happened. You see, I was making the same mistake that I've been talking about all week. I was trusting my emotions more than I was trusting God's Word. Ephesians 5.18 says, Be filled with the Spirit. That is a command of God. And if it's a command that God has given us, then it must be His will for us to be filled and to let Him control our lives. Since it's His will, 1 John 5.14-15 says that if we ask anything according to His will, we know that He does it. So you see, when I asked him to fill me with his spirit, he did it, whether I felt it or not. But you see, I had to learn that I didn't know that I was filled with the spirit because I felt like it. I could know that I was filled with the spirit because he said so. And so you can trust God's word more than you trust your feelings. So I would encourage you today, confess your sin to God, Yield yourself completely to Him and then ask Him to take control of your life and empower you today to live for Jesus. And then take Him at His word and begin to thank Him that He's done it. That's how you live a life of faith.